Hi guys, I am here today with a super exciting video. I am going to be sharing the Cindy Grace Enduring Love Palette with you guys. I did recently do some swatches using some of my, not some of, I did, I did swatches of all of my single shadows from them, but swatching them just isn't enough. It's, you've got to see them in action. I did do a look with some of my greens from my single sets, and this is just an, a palette that they put together recently, and it's stunning. There is not just a light version, but there is also a dark version, so if you have deeper skin, you can take advantage of it and not feel like some of the shades that are, you know, more appropriate for somebody with lighter skin will make you ashy. So I think that's awesome. I love that they have that variation and that, you know, you can make the most out of every single shade and not go, oh darn, this is a color that wouldn't, you know, necessarily suit me. That makes me very happy. Um, the other one that I have is the Autumn Rain palette, which I will be doing again at a different date, just not today. And I cannot wait to show you guys this. I did this look, which I'm really happy with. I think it turned out super vibrant, really pretty, way different than I was even planning on doing, but here we are and that's the way it goes. And then I did some swatches for you guys too. So I really hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe and ring the bell for future updates. All right, so we are gonna start right off the bat with the color Romeo, which I am super excited. This whole palette excites me. I so enjoyed their last palette, which was the, uh, ooh, hang on, I've got it next to me, Autumn Rain. Okay, I was gonna get it right. I've just, I've done so many palettes recently with the title something Rain, and I'm like, ah, what am I going for? Uh, but I just, I'm sure I will, wow, that was so intense. I picked up way too much. <laughs> Like, what I had left over was enough. This was, this was, ooh. And that's what happens. You get used to one brand, and then you switch to another, and then you're like, oh, I totally gotta switch up my style now. Oh, I just so enjoy their shadows. Okay, I'm gonna put just a teeny bit more right up there, and then I'll blend it out with some other stuff. I am... All right, I'm going to go with Juliet because you can't have Romeo without Juliet. Okay, I'm done. All right, I know. But I love that they actually did a light and a dark version of this so that everybody would get a chance to use this and really maximize the benefit with their skin type. I think that's really cool. It was a really nice thought rather than just making a bunch of different palettes, you know, making one that could be enjoyable for everybody. I love that. We love inclusion, baby. <laughs> All right, and I'm just putting the same thing on the other side. Super easy to blend out. Very easy to work with. And they look beautiful together. As you will notice, my skin is like ratchet right now. I am finally done with the skincare that I was trying to use for a little bit. It was the most ridiculous thought. It wasn't a ridiculous thought, but it was just like... <sighs> It did not go well, but that video is probably going up before this, so you'll already know what I think. Um, so part of me wants to go cool, but then the other part, other part of me that loves books is like, I love Darcy and Elizabeth, so I'm kind of like, okay, come on with the Darcy. That's where we're going. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. There's just no stopping that. I love to read. I've mentioned that before, but uh, Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite stories. Not just one of my favorite stories, but... I love to read fan fictions, so I've read a lot of Pride and Prejudice fan fictions. Oh, sorry, I picked up the color Darcy. I didn't even say, but whoo that is pretty. But I like to read a lot of uh, Pride and Prejudice fan fictions. I also really like on Audible, they have, I mean, essentially Pride and Prejudice. They, they call them, like, something else, but they're fan fictions. They're fan fictions, and because of the laws that they have with, oh, what did I just put on my face? No! <laughs> this would totally happen. It's okay. Smudgy smudge. Won't budgy budge. No, it's gone. Mostly gone. I can fix it later. Um, but with the copyright laws that they have, because it's been such a long time since it was published and the author's been passed, I think that's why they're allowed to publish them. And boy, am I glad for that because I love audiobooks. I love regular books, but I also love audiobooks because if I'm going for a walk or if I want to ride my bike or whatever, you know, you can listen to books on the go. You can get that information. So I'm just taking Darcy underneath my eye as well. 
That is a gorgeous shade. Like, yeah. Come on, y'all. I could have a hundred more colors just like this, but all in different variations and be perfectly happy with it. Okay. Wow, I was like crunched over like, hey. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's just tilt the mirror up. I know, that was a revolutionary thought. Any thought is revolutionary at this point in the day. Okay, so just working it out. But these are just so easy to blend. They're they're stunning. I love them. Hmm. Okay, I'm really torn. I mean, really, Elizabeth would make sense to go next. <laughs> All right, heck, why not? I usually don't do what I'm about to do. It sounded like uh, that part on half baked. I'm not gonna do what everybody thinks I'm gonna do. <laughs> But I am. I'm totally going to do what everybody thinks I'm going to do. I'm going to use Elizabeth because Darcy and Elizabeth. You got to use them both. So I'm just picking up Elizabeth, which is a beautiful purple shade. Uh, it is different from Abigail, but that's what it looks like on the brush. And I'm just going to... Woohoo! <laughs> Instead of rubbing it, I'm just going to kind of pat it on as opposed to what I was just starting to do. That is beautiful. I like that a lot. And I'm just kind of stamping and pulling a little bit. That is gorgeous. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, girl. Girl being me, so that was kind of creepy. But it is a really pretty color. And I'm going to put that a little higher up over here so we can match the other side. Oh, Elizabeth is a gorgeous color. Like, this isn't normally something I would have necessarily gone for, but... I'm sure glad that it's here. They anticipated my needs and wants before I knew what I wanted. I'm done. I need... <laughs> I need to stop. Okay, I brought that really far down and under, but we can clean it up. That's okay. Like, it's all over the place. Like, hey... So, I'm going to get my wipey. I have a clean one. I just need to bring it in here. I need to stop with the oh, laziness. It's been days since I've been in my makeup room, which is, like, so sad. Okay. And I'm just cleaning the edges of that up. Bringing it up some because it was, like, whoosh. Oh, you saw. It's a little cray-cray. It's still a little cray-cray. Speaking of cray-cray, anybody else notice how everybody is having sales right now? I swear it's a conspiracy against saving money. Which, I don't care. I'm, like, trying really hard to not buy anything because things are so precarious in the world right now. I will, will say, honestly, I did pick up some of the Morphe brushes when they were on sale because I do like some of the collab brushes and they were 60% off. And I could desperately use some more... Makeup brushes. Like an under eye brush. Like a like a pencil brush. That'd be nice. Instead of pinching instead of pinching a blending brush together. That'd be real nice. Okay. There's that. Now I am gonna blend that color out. I'm gonna diffuse it out a bit. Uh I think I'm gonna do that with Juliet rather than Darcy because Darcy was also a little bit deeper. This is a little bit bigger of a brush than I probably want to use. But I don't think I've got one that's a lot smaller around here. Alright, I do. I lied. Anyway, I'm going to pick up Juliet on this brush. And I'm just going to kind of diffuse out the bottom part a little bit more. Make it a little bit more blown out. Okay, that's not the sound it made. That's just the sound I made. <laughs> and I'm making very intense creepy faces at my mirror. <laughs> okay. But anyway, 
everybody's having sales right now. And I swear that Sephora is doing like some of the same things as the uh, Ulta sale. But then other ones they won't. Like today they've got uh, the Cover FX blushes or whatever, the duos, for half off at Ulta. And Sephora has some of their deals, but then doesn't have that. I'm like, come on, y'all. You can't add that one too. Seriously. Seriously. Um, I'm just taking a little bit more Juliet on my big fluffy one. And I'm going to actually just blow out the top part a little bit more too. A little bit more blended. You guys ever see the movie Blended? Yeah, I think it's Blended. And uh, they have a... <laughs> Terry Crews is in it. He's hilarious. And there's this part where they're like, they're blending. They are blending. They are something. So funny. That movie is hilarious. I love that movie. I love Just Go With It. That's hilarious. I really like Adam Sandler movies, actually. I, I think he's funny. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to deepen up Elizabeth a little bit more. Because I kind of lightened it up a little bit. I lightened up finally. <laughs> Put me there. Put me here. Okay. The next color I'm going to use, actually, apparently I'm just working from this row. Maybe each of these rows could just be the perfect story. <laughs> but I'm going to pick up the color Devotion. I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use probably the same brush I use on my eyebrow highlight. And just give it a shot. And if I don't like that, then I will actually use the color I use for my under eye. Because that's a little bit scruffier. And it picks up color really, really nicely a lot of the time. Or this will just be perfect the first time I touch it. That's great too. We love that. We love a pigmented shadow. That is gorgeous. Woo! That is really, really pretty. Ooh, about the neck here. What's up with the wee? That's creepy. Sorry. I'm going to do the same thing over here. This color is just really, really pretty. This palette has got a lot of potential for a lot of different looks. And I think, I don't think there's anybody that would be disappointed with it. Or their shadows. Or their shadow quality. They just do such a nice job. Okay. And I'm going to take a little bit, I'm not going to add any more, but I'm going to take that purple Elizabeth color that's left over on the brush and just kind of, that is gorgeous. Working it back on there. I'm going to try and get close enough so you guys can see it. Ooh, that was creepy. Sorry, everybody. I'll do this so maybe you can see the color. That is just really, really pretty, in my opinion. So there's that. Try and turn those back around. I'm going to put on eyeliner, I'm going to put on mascara, and I, then I will be back in just a second. All right, I am back. I have my eyeliner on, I have my mascara on, and this is the final look, which I am super, super happy with. I really love all of these colors together. Just look stunning. I do see something I want to touch up. Since I'm here and you're here and we're here together, and by touch up, I mean I just want to blend this a little bit more. But these just work so smoothly, and they're super pigmented, and I love, oh my gosh, the shimmer colors. <laughs> like the metallic foiled shimmer colors are fantastic. Their formulation there at Sydney Grace is seriously one of my favorites, if not my very favorite of all time. Of all time, yes. Um, but I am going to swatch these for you so you can see what they all look like. And hopefully that will be helpful to you in deciding if you would like to get one, which I sincerely suggest because they do such a fabulous job. So I should do this in the very beginning, but this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to go left to right, top to bottom. So the very first shade, ooh, you know what? I'm going to take off my watch. Can't swatch with a watch. <laughs> okay, that was so weird. <laughs> and I'm going to use my ring finger because I tend to have a hard time with my middle finger. Although I can probably use it for... Not 
Oh, well, it's too late. I've come too far. I'm on my ring finger now. So this first color is going to be Romeo. <laughs> okay, seriously, how satisfying was that? <laughs> this is like a bless you husband. <laughs> he sneezed out in the hallway. His uh, computer's out in the hallway, so that's that's why we could hear him from here. But this is like a pinkish, whitish, highlighty shade. It's beautiful. Although it almost looks peachish from a distance. The next color is Juliet, and this is a matte shade. Let me set that right next to Romeo, because Romeo and Juliet totally belong together. And I'm going to grab a little bit more. And this is just a wonderful transition color. It's kind of like a blushy mauve. A blushy mauve. There we go. The next color is Devotion, and it is, that's the color I have on my lid. It is stunning. It reminds me of, for Makeup Geek, it reminds me of Grandstand, but more champagne. So. Oh my goodness. And I still have some on my finger. Like, it's crazy. That is beautiful. It's like a champagne taupe. Oh, it's gorgeous. Pink. Champagne taupe pink. <laughs> Alright, the next color is Darcy. And this is definitely like a, a mauve color, but different than the first one. Although, when you swatch them like that, they look the same, but I promise you, on the eye they aren't. And I didn't grab it very dark, so... There. Now you can see the color differentiation, because there definitely is one, I promise. But that one is gorgeous. It's more of a red tone mauve as opposed to a purple tone mauve, if that makes sense. And then the last color in this row <coughs> is Elizabeth. And this is a purple color. This is stunning. Not that purples aren't, but I was just shocked by just how nicely it played with the other colors in the row. I kind of originally didn't think that they would look all that good together, but that's what I've got on my eyes. It's just specifically that storyline. This is like a pink toned, pink toned, pink toned purple. And it is just beautiful. All right, so the next one is Albert. And, you know, I'm almost tempted to skip to the last row, but that's a, should be. <laughs> no, it's okay. So the next one is Albert, and this is also a foiled metallic. Oh, pigmented. That is like a slate, taupe, beautiful, beautiful, very foiled color. The next color is like a gray toned tan, and the color is Victoria. Which, every time I hear the name Victoria, I think of Twilight. Okay, not the movie Twilight. Yes, from the movie Twilight, but more the movie Eclipse, where the guy that gets turned in the beginning... Um, his name's Riley. He's like, Victoria! So that's what I hear every single time. I'm sorry, I'm a twihard. What can I say? I'm, I'm old and I'm a twihard. <clears throat> I didn't pick up a lot. Um, again, this is Victoria. Gray tone tan. Hmm. This one's not picking up on my... Well, it's going on my finger, but it's not swatching the best. Now, that does happen with a few of their shades, but I've never had one that even picked up like that, that didn't work, like, stupendously on the lid. Stupendously. That just happened. Hi. We're bringing it back. 2020. <laughs> Alright, so this next one is more like a gray tone purple. And its color is Passion. Man. man. Okay, maybe I need to switch to a different finger. And that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll we'll use the pinky. That's a little better, but these two these two I've had a hard time picking up with my finger. I'm almost tempted to use a brush. Why don't we give that a shot just so you guys can see it in action? Possibly better than what I'm doing because it's definitely on my fingers, but I'm just using wow. Okay, I'm just using like a. What is this? Morphe 
five M five seven three. I don't know. These aren't swatching the best. These these two specifically. The other ones have all been really good, but the texture is also kind of different when I'm touching them too. So I, I don't know. It's weird. It's like they're sticking to my fingers, but they're not coming off here. So I'm going to do a look with those um, another day and I can let you know if they don't work as well as the first row, but really I'm sure they will. I have that much faith in Sydney Grace that I'm like, no, these are going to be fine. Uh, so the next color is Boaz. And this is like a gray black. And as you can see, there again, it's watched almost just fine. Like, what am I doing wrong? Okay, the next color is Ruth. And this is like a bluer teal. Like it's teal, but it's more of a blue teal than a green teal. Ooh, that's pretty. That is a very, very pretty color. I'm going to bring it down a little further for you guys. Very pretty. I am the most excited probably about this color, that and Devotion, but this color, John, ooh, I cannot wait. There's nothing more than a color like this that I like. I, I picked up way too much. What was I thinking? Okay. I, I was thinking of those matte colors. I've got so much, I, I can use this for the next rest of my life. I never need to grab another shadow color ever again. Like, I could keep going and going and going. <sighs> like, that's gorgeous. Hang on. Just for, just to make you guys laugh. Hang on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but look at that. It's still on my finger, too. That's insanity. So that's John. I'm very sad that I dipped into it so much. I did not mean to. I didn't even dip that hard, but... Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. I think some of these were actually named after their parents, which I thought was really cool. Because I love that they include their family and friends. So just like with their lip creams that they just released, uh, they named them after people they know. And I think that's awesome. I think that's a really nice touch to have for a brand. So the next color is Abigail. And it's another purple, but it's more of a purple purple in the pan. Like a darker based purple oh yeah definitely purple with a black base beautiful color though <laughs> all right the next color is cherish i'm going to use my middle finger and see how this goes this kind of has the same texture as abigail and or no as a uh, victoria and passion so hopefully this will come off okay I'm like getting short swatches with some of these and I don't understand because they, all right, this one's better. All right. This one swatched better than the other one. So good. Awesome. Super. That is Cherish. That is just like a really nice buff nude kind of color. The next color is Robert and this is like a beautiful brown. Actually thought about using this today. It's like mostly on my finger. I don't know. And then it's fine. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. It must be a me thing, you guys, because I'm telling you, these shadows have been performing fine. So it could just be my fingers. I've swatched countless things recently. So I feel like they're just kind of like, stop using me. <coughs> I should use my other arm next time, and maybe I will. Um, and the very last color in this palette is Deanna. And this is like a murky green maybe black undertone green brown that was such a weird description but oh my god there again I have so much excess like I even left excess here but like let's just <laughs> like that's a beautiful color I just have so much like these just are such fabulous fabulous Eyeshadows, I can't talk. Fuh, 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 fuh. Fuh, 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 <laughs> and that is what the whole palette looks like right there on my arm. I'm really happy with it. I mean, so far, 
I, I haven't used those two shades that I thought were kind of like, eh, we'll see about that. So I will use those and I will get back to you guys. And you'll probably just see it anyway. So keep a lookout for that. It will be coming. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you like it. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe and ring the bell for future updates. And I hope everybody's having a great day.